make a really good electric skateboard with hub motors, you need a good motor controller. Okay, so my job on um, Thursdays, Fridays and Mondays is to get this guy out of bed, which he's a bit like his dad and doesn't want to get up most of the time. But you gotta get up and go to school. Come on, off you go. Vivian's always late for work. <laughs> Get mate. Then a coffee. I'll see you there. All right. The problem with filming all this on my phone, I can't see whether I'm in the shot. Pretty sure I'm in the shot, but it's just nice to know whether you're in the shot. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah, there's something about chai tea. It just makes the morning less shit. I'm not a morning person. Ah, I was up last night until like 1.30 a.m. <clears throat> looking at what camera to buy for these videos. Busy day ahead. I've got pretty much meetings most of the day. I'm not going to get much other work done. I need to do some design work. I need to just sit in front of solid works. And for me, it takes me, you need to get into like a groove when you're designing. You need to get into a flow. Um, and sometimes that can take an hour of just sitting there, scratching your head, trying to work out what you're trying to achieve. So um, it'd be nice to get some design work done today. So fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, in 45 minutes I've got a meeting uh, with my US based PCB manufacturer who will be doing all of the new VESCs um, that we'll be selling. Um, so I've got to have a meeting with them, make sure that they're doing everything properly, that they know how to, to do everything that needs to be done, that they've got all the parts sorted out and, and everything like that. So we hit our due date, which is at the end of this month. Um, so yeah, that's, that's big, you know, it's a big deal. Um, the VESC, Popularity is growing each day. Um, unfortunately, demand has outstripped supply for the last 12 months. So, you know, the um, constantly running out of stock, it's a nightmare. It's, it's trust me, it's a nightmare. Um, it makes my life miserable. Not only are my customers constantly waiting, but I don't have stock to do the stuff that I want to do. Make Raptors and build new like kits, like an electronics kit for instance, so someone can buy all this stuff. Nice little package. So, need to get supply sorted out ASAP. So, this deal is doing that. Um, it's the stock is going to be based in the US, so we'll be able to get it to the US customers, bang, like that. So it's going to be good. 
Um, pretty good coffee machine this for a compact unit when it's not okay we've got a problem here we're jammed too many empties okay that's in there now okay coffee should start coming out of that bad boy yeah. Bad brew. So I uh, bit the bullet and bought a new camera, Canon PowerShot G7X. It's what all the cool vloggers are using, right? So, but no, it's a sweet camera. Um, the imaging stabilization will be good, I think, for riding skateboards as well. So I should be able to get some footage. The flip up screen is a must because using this, my phone, it's just fucking difficult to uh, compose shots. And I don't even know if it's recording half the time and you know, um, so yeah, I got, I got that for, uh, where's the 562 from Hong Kong. Hopefully that'll arrive here fairly soon. Um, got a 64 gig ultra SD card, spare battery. So get ready for these vlogs to get super professional, maybe. Uh, I hate doing tax stuff. It sucks. I hate it. I don't like it. It makes me fucking sleepy. So, um, there's this uh, new board that's just shown up recently on some of the forums. Uh, whoever this Appleton is, they're, they're saying it's a backfire board. Well, I doubt it's backfire. It's, um, I think the company goes by this name, Lofty Ambition. Backfire is a another Chinese company that supplies a lot of wheels and decks and trucks and skateboard hardware. I don't think they've got anything to do with this one. Um, but I suppose I uh, better give my opinion on it. Well, I can give a first-hand opinion because I helped them design the hub motor. I've actually got samples from this factory many months ago as you can see oh, it's really dark here anyway you can see it there um yeah i've done testing with this it's it's actually not too bad in the way they've gone about it but the problem is with electric skateboards it's not just about the motor. You need a good motor controller. And as far as I'm aware, the Chinese don't have anything that good yet. Um, most of the ones are just like basic hobby, hobby grade motor controllers that are designed to run on 24 volts. Um, I haven't seen exactly the motor controller that's in that deck. Um, I know Jerry, the guy who is making these, said he was developing his own 
So hopefully he's going with higher voltage, but I doubt it. The problem is with lower voltage is the motors draw more current and a hub motor has no mechanical advantage. It, it you know, it's, it's one to one ratio basically. So um, it has much more load on it and that means it draws much higher current and that means it gets hot. So what you need is higher voltage you also need a motor controller that can limit the current in the motor. You need to be able to control the current in the motor and out of the battery, of course, and I doubt they've got it. And during my testing with with this, obviously, it, there was two of them, um, I went up the, the steepest hill near my house and they got so very hot. Um, it was, you couldn't touch them at all. So, um, yeah, that's that's the problem with hub motors. You you have to design a system. You can't just, you can't just have a, a nice motor. You need a complete system. So, until until we've seen more details about the, the motor controller they're using, I just don't think it's gonna be good for, for hill climbing, unfortunately, so. Um, yeah, my, my gut feeling is it's, it's not a great product, um, yet, you know, these things need more development. I think, um, if the Chinese understood what the VESC motor controller was and started using that in their designs, that would be a game changer, but I, I don't think they're going to understand what the VESC is for a while, um, and which is good, means us you know, hobby, uh, sorry, not hobby, but DIY builders have a, an advantage. We, you know, we don't have to use the hobby grade stuff. We've got the VESC. Uh, there are a few people making hub motors now. And yeah, this time, uh, this year, I mean, um, I think you'll see some really impressive hub motors coming out of the DIY seen so that's my take on it anyway and um yeah satellite motors for now so we're heading into the city to see our accountant he flew Adelaide from Newcastle where we used to live to see us so we can sort out our shit because it's about due 10 months ago so my wife Vivian just uh, uh, yeah if you haven't seen her already that's my wife Vivian reminded me in the car that um, like the the financial year that we're going to sort our tax out for, we sold a house. During that time, we built a little granny flat investment thing. We sold a business and I started an urchin. So that all happened in this financial year. So yeah, I feel sorry for the um, accountant who's got to sort it all out. We need a ramp to get into the Hilton. Okay, mate. Yum. We have eaten. Time for a little nightcap.
Mm. Chocolatey, oaky, rich caramel. Good stuff.